Hey everybody, we are doing another run of FTL and this time we are going to be rocking the Crystal Cruiser. And this one is sort of a rare ship for people to be playing unless they've unlocked it with the save because it's really hard to get to the place where you have to unlock it, which is like Crystal Space or whatever. Anyways, the, uh, the Type A is not a particularly fun or interesting ship. You have two Crystal crew members, a Crystal Burst Mark 1 and a Crystal Heavy Crystal Mark 1, which they basically just penetrate through one shield. That's It's just like a normal laser except for that. It's it's really quite strange. Uh, we're going to be doing Type B, which is actually no weapons. Uh, all crystal crew members, boarding crew, and final destination. I don't know. Um, we also get this augmentation called Crystal Vengeance, which basically every time my ship takes damage, I have a 10% chance to retaliate. It, it, it just fires a weapon that kind of just retaliates and does like a bit of damage, which is kind of cool, I guess. Um, Useful? I don't know. Uh, interesting, sure. I'll go with interesting. Uh, and we're gonna call this the USS Overpowered, because it is seriously overpowered. So, uh, of course, on the crew, there will be me. Mike Lott. And there's a guy, uh, the guy who submitted this was a kind-hearted gamer, uh, 422. Uh, thank you very much for, uh, Choosing this guy, and that's that's your that's gonna be you. And the last guy is going to be uh, I don't know Bill Gates. There you go. <laughs> this is our crew. Uh, so another interesting thing to note: uh, you, you, we've never seen Crystal Crew members, but uh, if you look at this, they're basically like a, a a a half half a rock member kind of a thing. Like their health is increased by twenty five. They're still slower. Uh, however, they have reduced suffocation damage and the lockdown power, which I will show you as soon as we get in. Uh, and the lockdown power basically works like this. Uh, these guys can't leave this room, and he can't even leave this room, so I get to trap people. Now imagine how that, that works with the, uh, uh, with a ship like this. It's, it's insane, like, because you can trap people from going to the med bay, basically. That's what you do. Uh, so to start it off, let's go to the, well, I want to kind of go to the nebula. Let's go to the nebula first, because that will slow down the assault. Having no weapons kind of sucks, but, and also having the missiles to trade for fuel also kind of sucks, but you know. It's, what can you do? Now, one of the things that makes this ship really overpowered, then there's intruders on the ship. He's gonna go for my O2. Alright. Come on, go, go attack them. Yeah, okay, um, so, yeah, so no weapon, lack of weapons means I can't retaliate against, especially against those drones. And also, like, my, my powers, like, everything is, like, completely full, which is kind of weird. It's, it's sort of strange. So, like, I can lock them out of leaving this room, but I won't do that, because why would I do that? Okay, well, unfortunately, don't need you, Mike Lap. Get over here. I, also, I want to replace, I want to replace this guy as soon as possible to get someone else on engines, because he's much more useful as a boarding member than anything else. Also, I want to mention, yeah, we have the cloak that makes it even more overpowered, to be honest. Uh, you get cloak right off the bat with with full shields. Okay, there. Um, also, the first tier, you only have the first tier of weapons, and the second tier costs 60. So it's expensive to invest into weapons. It really is expensive, so it's also something kind of important to note. Okay, we're ready to jump. Let's go finish up with a nebula here. Okay, so there's a heavily damaged Federation ship. If we're out of time to make contact with them, they fade into the I'm gonna lock onto the life signs with my transporter. And I beam the Federation crew aboard, they gladly, gladly join my crew, and it's a rock guy. So, he's like a crystal guy wannabe. So I'm moving myself immediately over here. Uh, because I'm I'm now I'm now officially part of the boarding, boarding crew. That's just how it goes. Uh, there's a planet speckled with settlements, although no one responds to my hails. Wow. They're like uh, xenophobic, I guess. Okay, so we have our first distress to begin. There's a single life form on the surface. We'll go down and investigate. Uh, there's a lone survivor there. And so the, the, the difference between this one and there's a crazed survivor or a lone survivor. The lone survivor won't attack us. So it's a guaranteed crew member, which is nice. He, if he comes over. So uh, Zoltan, we want to get him over onto engines. And pretty much in the first system, we now have two people. Actually, I would get this guy, I would definitely put him a part of this crew right here, the boarding crew. If I find a replacement, I can get a four-person boarding crew going. Um, I Sorry, I didn't mention this before, but all the bay, all the transporter bays you've seen me do before, 
Uh, they've always been only two pe only two tra uh, two bays. This is, has a four transporter bay and also like a big med bay right beside it too. This is why it's the U.S. is overpowered. Also, I'm gonna get one point into engines because I'm not really using that point for anything. So, figure I might as well. Uh, the store up here, no point in me going there right now. I don't really have any money for anything, so we're just going to continue on our merry way to the exit here. As uh, a civilian ship being chased by a pirate, we will aid the civilian ship. I power up my weapons. Okay. And we'll just go board a shield room. And th this poor, poor soul, he's an NG. Okay, so they fired a missile at me, and that's the time I want to use my cloak. That's usually when I use my cloak anyways. And that's it, we've killed it, no more life signs. The crew of the other ship that we were trying to save did not survive this fault, that's okay. We'll, we'll bring everyone back. I mean, I just got free free shit out of this, so I'm, I'm okay with that. It's really insistent on trying to give me, uh, what's gonna call it, stores, but I don't want to do that right now. I really don't. Uh, no life signs detected. Not in this sector, nope. Okay, well, we'll continue. There we go. A Federation, we didn't, we did not fight a war to let a single Federation cruiser shatter our dreams. Well, that's, that's unfortunate for you, son. So, I don't really feel compelled to use the ability because here, there's really no point. Because it's just, uh, all I'd be doing is preventing these guys from leaving the room and I don't know if you've noticed this, but they're not actually trying to leave the room. They don't care. It's a it's a rather simple ship. What can I say? And shields went back up, and they missed anyways. And we stripped the ship of useful materials. So you can see why this is so OP, and it doesn't exactly help the fact that I uh, I got really lucky at the start here, and I got like two free crew members right off the bat. So I still want to replace this guy really really fast. Well, I'm I, either a Mantis or a Rock crew member. Either one works for me. All right. I'm not going to check out the store because I don't deem that as necessary. It's just, who cares? So there's a uh, rebel ship, a rebel auto automated scout pursuing a civilian ship with weapons engaged. I'm staying out of it. It's an automated ship. I can't do anything. Although, you know what? Technically, I think my suffocation bonus would actually allow me to. I would want to get another point or two into teleporters before I attempt that. Because if I lose that, I'll be pissed. Uh, okay, so there's a FDL... This guy's FTL navigation has gone haywire. Can I help him? Sure, I'll uh, I'll get some fuel, and uh, we'll help him go to his next area, which is right here. Uh, I was gonna go there anyways, so that's that works out for both of us. And we arrive. Uh, was it did not go? We did not go very far. We now have to escort him. So we got some scrap out of it, and uh, we have time, I think, for one more. Uh, but I think what I'll do is I'll get I'll get this. Another block of shields. Because I am a highly defensive ship. I want to take as much fire as I possibly can. It's a Mantis cruiser and all, all mounted Mantis ships that enter our territory are forfeit. Lower my shields if I value my lives. Our, our lives, anyways. Oh, there we go. And it's one NG and a Mantis. Oh, you poor NG. How did you get mixed up with these fellas? And this ship is completely pointless to me because it's... It's impossible for them to get through my shield, so... We'll bad men our cloak. And we strip it of remaining useful materials, and we're done. That's it. Easy, easy, easy ship so far. Like, it's it's really... It's not even a contest right now. It's just kind of like... Yeah, I'm, I'm sailing through this. It's another one of these ships where I, I probably will want to get another point into the med bay just so I can heal these guys. These guys have a lot of health, so... It's worthwhile for me to do that. Fortunately, I think the Federation cruiser actually might be here. Yes, it is. Well, uh, well, hopefully we'll survive long enough to jump to the next sector. We can kill him, so... Well, he has a med bay, but we'll do this. So we kill his med bay. He's gonna, gonna try and attack my teleporter. We're gonna bad manner his med bay, though. I don't really see a point in trying to attack that. I mean, this is just, to me, it's just, it's just free fuel and free experience. And they, are they healing up? Okay, we're gonna go ahead. Okay, we're gonna get this guy in here. And we're, he's gonna finish off the, the med bay there. I know there's someone attacking my ship. 
Uh, you rock crew member, go, go deal with that. I mean, I mean, he's taking out my cameras. I value my cameras. Hopefully we'll be able to take these guys out, and I don't actually think that will be the case. They're gonna heal up like assholes. Alright. Fuck, this isn't even worth my time. Like, I'm just thinking about- Well, actually, they're getting good at combat. Guess it's, I suppose it's okay for grinding. Okay. I, I really want to finish these guys off. Uh, and I can't teleport them off, I just realized. Okay, Zoltan, go, go heal that. It's, this is not even worth my time. I'm, I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. It's like, it's like, it, I'm getting one fuel out of this. Who cares? Uh, let's power up the, that bay. Alright, there we go. We'll get these guys to repair it, and then we'll leave. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to waste your time, but, you know, it just... I, I, I thought I could do it. Uh, well, actually, we want to power up the that right here. Because we want to get that, that charging. Uh, you know, we don't even need cloak. They don't fire fast enough for us. My greatest apologies, people. Okay, so Zoltans, which will mean will they, they may have the shields, or... I'd prefer the nebula, to be honest, because it's just... You don't want to have to deal with... Fucking... Uh, Zoltan shields. I have no weapons against that. I have no thing, nothing I can do against it. So, uh, it's a nebula. That's pretty much all there is to say about this place. I kind of want to get this guy healed, but, you know, we'll, we'll do it when we jump into someone, actually. I don't think it's that urgent of a thing. Oh, well, okay, so there's two paths I can go. I can either go the lower path or the upper path. I guess I'll go the lower path. Really, not much of a difference. As a, a rebel automated scout, so I'm gonna cloak to escape because I still I can't I can't kill him. I I have no weapons against these these guys. It's putting me in these awful situations, and so there's a plaza storm and incapacitated ships loom in the shadows. We will manly search for survivors and equipment, and I found a passenger. And once awake, he joins my crew and says thanks. Okay, and he will now be driving because he's a useless human, a filthy filthy useless human. All right. And that means now my boarding crew is up to four people. That's nice. Okay, and so there's a damaged Federation ship hiding in the nebula. Uh, we are going to lock onto the life signs with the transporter, and we have another crew member, another Sultan. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Let's put him on shields, shall we? Holy shit, I almost have a whole full crew here. <laughs> uh, you know, this, this overpowered ship is really being enhanced by my luck. Like, it's just... Why? <laughs> oh, I, I apologize if your shit your luck is really shitty in this game, but yeah, um, there's no. Uh, I look at the viewports and it's really quiet. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll go down and then head back up. Oh my goodness, this is the easiest ship. So we have a, an automated ship. Uh, I'm kind of worried about boarding it, so I'm going to cloak to stealth and get the resources from the station that it was guarding. There we go. Oh, man. This ship, man. So, uh, I feel naked without sensors, and nothing... Something could appear, but nothing appears, so... Whatever. We don't really care. Uh... Oh, there's a rebel ship. Uh, let's... Let's chase them. Why not? We get to... We get to surrender to the nebula. I never... I'm never able to catch up with it when it runs into the nebula, and they have, like, this super jump, or whatever the fuck it is. I'm kind of mad. This is this has been a really crappy sector. Uh, he's got nothing to give us, but he can. I can go get some drone control, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna sell a crystal vengeance because this hurts me more than it helps me, to be honest. So, because I, I don't want them to get on my ship. We'll get it. We'll get a defense drone, and it comes with a system repair drone. I guess sure. Why not? We'll take that. I, I mean, I can't really think of anything else I really want besides fuel. I, I mean, I can save my money for like a store, but. Like for like for one with weapons, but you know, I, I get a lot of loot from this, so uh, there's nothing here except for swirling rays from a distant sun. People wanted me to do a beam ship, and I, I would like to, I would love to do a beam ship for you, but it's based upon the, my luck, and th right now this is like a full cruise ship, or whatever the hell this is. So there's clouds and more silence. 
This was the most boring sector I think I've ever done. We didn't fight anybody. Uh, let's go to the rock controlled sector because they have missiles and I'm, I'm happy with fighting them. So they're a peaceful and proud race, the rock people. And if I was made of rock, I don't, I don't think I'd be peaceful. I just, where'd my fuel go? I guess I used it all. Okay, well, we'll look for it. A thud, uh, so there's a rock fire. He's already preparing a fire. Oh God, no. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna beam into his, this room. Oh. We'll just go fight him over here. So here's what we do. It's rock people. We wait until they try and run, which they don't run very fast. And the minute he runs, that's it, he can't leave. And he's dead already. And the other guy's dead now, that's it. And there's a prisoner who offers to join my crew. Holy fuck. Well, you can go and just, okay, you know what, no, no. We're gonna put both the Zoltans in this room. I don't need anyone powering weapons. I have a full crew. This is the most amount of people you can get, you can get on your crew. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys how a full crew looks like. This is it. So uh, one of the things that people were telling me to do was this, and this is basically, I have now a block of shields that cannot be taken down by ion cannons, which you know can come in handy for the for the duration of this trip. Uh, I may want to get someone to get on go on weapons to charge it faster. Uh, I'd so, this is not a weapon ship anyway, so I don't think I'll be doing that anyway, so I don't really care. I have a full sh I have a full crew ready. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, so this guy has been hit hard by the war. He needs some drone parts to be able to prepare, so I'll give him some drone parts. I honestly, I really need a store, so I'm trying to jump into the middle there to see if I can get to a store. Uh... It's a craft, and he explains that the homeworld lies in the propaganda and the puppets and check they want to be a part of it. I'm gonna promise to share the truth they've been denied. They've seen tipped by the offer, but they can't risk being lied to again. They close frequencies and run away. I'm gonna go to distress speaking. It's my only option. I'm, I'm out of fuel right now. Uh, okay, so he wants to be led to his destination, but he will not offer me fuel, but he'll give me scrap for it. Well, guess what? Uh, turn distress beacon on, and uh, we'll have to wait. Oh, I am Rebel Ship. Oh, they're the they're the people that were after me. Oh no, my poor Zoltans. We'll just kill them real quick. Okay, and now let's board his mid bay. And now he now he can't get onto his mid bay, so I'm killing the med bay. Now oh, you might as well go power that. They don't, they don't have anything that can kill me. Look at them, they're trying to get to the med bay. Well, let's go into a room where we can all kill you. Uh-oh. They oh, both took damage. I probably should have cloaked there. Oh well. Well, the crew dead, we are free to scrap the ship. Let's take them all back. Yeah, this is kind of an easy ship, not gonna lie. I think that was pretty obvious. Um, the minute I started this, this would be a pretty easy ship to, to do. But you know, what are you gonna do? And, like, I'm already, I already have like the boarding crew and like, okay, so is this guy on shields? Who's on shields? Charlie is not on shields. It's this person. Not like this person has leveled it up at all. Whatever. All right, uh, we got some fuel out of that. So let's get the hell out of here. Cause I'm sick of this sector already. Oh, there's a rock. There's a rock ship. That's uh, they don't seem to mind that I'm still on board my ship while they junk it. Well, you assholes, I'm gonna beam into your oxygen then. And they have an own bed base, so they're not gonna attempt to run. And I'm gonna save my cloak basically for when uh, the missile fires. Whoops, I kind of my hand kind of slipped and I pressed spacebar as well. Another point in cloak wouldn't be the worst thing I've ever done. Okay, so there's no life signs on the ship. We strip it of materials. And who who the hell needs healing? Okay, so let's go get another point into med bay and another point into cloak. Okay. Uh, actually, just power this right here. Oh, and everyone's done already. Okay. The cloak will now power my med bay. 
it's the weirdest kind of feels. And there's a ship uh, shield. My my shield's not powered. Uh, mining platforms. Uh, they run efficient operations. Yeah. Wish I would honestly see more ships because I'm okay. Will I be able to make it there? No, I won't, but I don't mind actually fighting the Federation freighter, to be honest. So we're here, and there's a rock ship that has taken their orders to literally took the most direct route to their destination. They're literally in the asteroid field. All right. We're oh, fine. We'll attack you in your O2 bay. Have it your way. So we now just uh, play the waiting game. Okay, that's not enough of a laser to do this, but that is enough of a laser. Okay, now we just keep them confined. This is why it's the most overpowered ship, as, I, as I've iterated many times. It's just, they can't go anywhere. And that's it. We strip the resources and we get the hell back here. Easy as pie. Wow, that my cloak doesn't work. Oops. Nope, I want you to go back here. I kind of like the controls, I really do. It's one of the things I really have to say this this game does really well. It's just, it controls amazingly. It does pretty much what you want, want it to. All right, so there's another rock shoot. That's good, because I'm, I, I am particularly well-versed in the art of, of uh, boarding. So, you know, you'll have to come to me. <laughs> we took down one of his weapons. I think this is like a double heavy laser or something. I can't really tell. It only does two damage. Absolutely useless. Bad manner cloak. And these guys are all getting really good at uh, repairing. As a prisoner who offers to join my crew, and he's uh, another rock guy. Well, we're gonna get rid of him. So, like, like, keep a tally. How many fucking crew members is it offering me? It's like practically trying to give me like. I wish I could have more than eight. Sigh. Where, where's my drone control bay? It's, oh, oh, it's right there. Okay. I don't really use that drone control bay at all either. Okay, let's go to the quest uh, exit here. Let's see. Oh no, I've walked into the trap. Worst trap ever. Now you're gonna die. Yeah, I don't. You know, I don't know. Um, if the outcome is really in question here, I might as well cloak just so his bomb doesn't charge as quickly. At, the, at this rate, I could do like a, a, a one weapon run. I could just find the cheapest weapon I possibly can. There's no more life signs on the ship. We strip it of resources. It's entirely possible for us to do this. Like, it's just, wow. Uh, the only problem would potentially be like, uh, well, I could have like a bomb and, and a thing, an ion bomb and a one weapon thing. I'll look into that. You know what? A weaponless run. It's doable. Cause the, then the Federation cruiser, I could, I could kill it with this. Easy. Uh, I'll be, I'll be, that'll be a fun, fun run to do. All right, well, we'll see. It's whatever the circumstances uh, give me. Zoltan uh, Merchant offers to show me his wares, and he's like, "Sorry, it took get years to gain their trust." Okay, so he's not gonna give me anything. Okay, well, there's a store right here. What's he got for me? It's a rock ship with a rare diplomatic mission. All right, stealth weapons. Sure, why not? Uh, there's also an S-bomb. I am not against that. There's also the beam weapon that someone wanted, but it's... Eh. The fire beam is a lot of fun, though. I'll take the S-bomb, though, for now, because I need some kind of offensive weaponry, uh, in case, like, I get to a guy who has, like, some sort of shields up, or... I can even target his med bay beforehand. Alright, let's go straight to the exit. Now, the question is, do we care to even board this guy's ship? I, I certainly don't. He's got a lot of weapons, though. Maybe we should put another point into, uh, engines. Oh, well. I have a long cloak, though. He's not gonna be able to do much. I mean, it, it, it is a slightly threatening ship. I'm, I'm only a little bit worried. Oh, no. No, I'm not. Uh oh, now I'm worried. Uh oh. You know, this is the power of four people. This is like the this is like two NGs. And my cloak isn't gonna come back fast enough. Everybody help out. 
and to the next sector, and we will make it... Why not the Slug Home Nebula? Sure. You know what? I don't think we've ever been there. That's a nice place this time of year, right here. And the slugs that live in the, they live in this nebula, and uh, everything is done in the pursuit of uh, currency and the time to spend it on more extra extravagant bleh, adventures. But there's much treachery in this open space. Oh well. I I I don't think we'll have much of a problem here. Uh, we need to go heal some of these guys up, though. Now oh, come on in here. Oh, this guy needs healing too. The great thing about these guys is I noticed uh, something during one of my runs with the uh, crystal people is that even with a level 1 med bay, they will heal faster than uh, than what someone can kill them, basically. Like, like the, 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 sorry, uh, they will heal faster than, than a lack of oxygen in a med bay. So you can, you, can you can take oxygen from the med bay like this and they'll heal faster. Anyways, I think that's all the time we have for today. Uh, so next time we'll... Uh, Continue on our merry quest uh, to kill the uh, Federation flagship. So I'll see you later. Bye.